السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس واٹ از مائکرو کنٹرولر دس سمال 16 پن آئی سی ان دس انورٹر بولٹ ہیئر مائٹ بی اٹ از 16 پن ہیئر می بی 28 پن 20 پن 24 پن سم ٹائم اٹ از 8 پن سم ٹائم اٹ از 14 پن ڈفرنٹ سائز دس بولٹ فار اے سی انڈور یونٹ بولٹ same we can see here so these are microcontrollers what is the microcontroller first of all we will see some example and then we will correlate with microcontroller so it will more easy to understand and then we will see the data sheet for this SC91F 72B it is 8051 flash microcontroller to understand the word microcontroller let's start For example, in your office, you induct a PN, you induct a, your subordinate who is deaf and mute. He cannot listen anything, he has no hearing power and he cannot talk, he cannot speak, but he can read. He came to your office new, what you will do? You will write a schedule, schedule. First of all, when office time will start, you have to check this 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 checkpoints in office you have to clean the office you have to arrange the items you have to see everything and then if i am not at duty he have to wait he have to close the office or if he is working if i will call him he is discussing with someone other and if i will call him i will give some indication to come to me he must reach to me like that so he have to follow that rules what is to do in the morning what is to do in the day time he have to monitor office in out if someone if i need something he must reach to me he must listen to me then if someone comes to him and he transfers some message he will transfer message to me that he have to follow my instructions this is the function of that deaf and mute person who can just only read my instructions and any time i change my instructions i change my lines that you will do this duty he must do that duty so we can say this microcontroller is that person who is deaf and mute but he can read and he can he can do anything if you look here we have ic we have ic we have ic most of the time these are looking similar maybe in this board it is the same ic in this board it is the same ic in microwave oven it will the same maybe in some toys in some car it is the same maybe in some printer it is the same part number will same but if we see its function it will different if we remove this ic from here and install here same part number it will not work if i remove from here install here it will not work so this ic will not work anywhere instead the same type same configuration it have to work why because we write some instructions and it have to follow that instructions in this video we will take just only introduction if we want to take some familiarization course to get familiar with this one we need 3 month and if an engineer want to take specialization in this 16 pin ic maybe he he need 1 year specialization course to understand all the functions of this microcontroller because it have just only 16 or 20 pins but each pin have many functions similar to that mute person we have to write instructions okay go to the market take vegetable bring this one bring this one or in the office you have to do he have multiple job so this have to do multiple jobs what are that and how it will work if we see computer pc it have a processor we have memory we have bios we have on bus ram we have communication bus so all of them 
are connected to that processor and processor takes memory we have hard disk we have keyboard we have a display monitor we have printer we have modem so processor will take instructions from the operating system from user in the processor we are entering adding the real time information and we are accessing acquiring different data at the same time but this device you can say it is a complete computer it have ram eprom rom that is flash memory 16 or 8 megahertz on chip oscillator because all microcontrollers need a clock signals in some oscillators we need external crystal so which will oscillate and it will produce a clock signal but this chip this have on chip oscillator then it have lvr low voltage reset internal reset analog to digital converter then it have interrupt timers io control pwm options so this ic it have unbelievable options because it is controlling the complete function of this inverter it have different type of pins in 16 pins supply voltage from 3.6 volt to 5.5 volt this is ground pin these are the common pins other all pins are selectable in software the programmer who will write the program he will write the instructions it is called programmable inputs and outputs if the programmer will define in the software that this pin is out and this pin is input so the computer will utilize this as a output this as a input maybe the same ic in other boards the same pin this will as input this is output our cmos ic's and ttl ic's other all ic's have static pins we can say if pin number 14 that is output pin that mean in each ic that will output pin but in this microcontroller when we put software when we put source code instruction set what is the software what is the source code software is the instruction set what is that first of all we will we say pa0 high for example r1 so it is output pin if it is zero input pin it have a complete coding when we write the command in the computer first of all we write instructions we say measure voltage at pin number 1 these are the statements measure voltage at pin number 2 if this voltage is equal to 1 volt what you have to do next function if the voltage is less than 1 volt what you will do for example in inverters we say the primary voltage booster section must turn on and it have to provide voltage 310 volt at this capacitor so it will read back how it will read back the hardware engineer will provide the voltage information from these lines for example we want to measure voltage hardware engineer what will do he will apply 300 volt here for example 299k here 1k here so he will receive 1 volt it will applied to its pin pin number 1 it's an example it's a to d converter and a lag to digital converter will convert this voltage for example if it is 1 volt it will convert it to some digital code some hex code such some computer understandable code for example we say 46h in binary form 0100 and 60110 so this binary code equal to 1 volt it's an example so in instruction set if we say the voltage are equal to this are equal to this code that means the voltage are 300 volt if it is 0.8 volt it says 38h that means 0 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 if this code 
So this code now changed. There was a statement in the command line if the voltage are equal to 46H at pin number 1 or pin number 2 or pin number 3 whatsoever it depends on the programmer which pin he is using to for that function. In most of the microcontrollers the ADC pin analog to digital converter pin is specified. He have to utilize that pin. Programmer and hardware engineer have to apply output at that pin. If the voltage are equal to this, we can say 0.8 volt. So 0.8 volt, that means the voltage are around 240 volt. So that means at that time, this inverter have to wait until the voltage reach at this point. If the voltage are less than this, it have immediately generate an error. What it will do, it have to indicate this light. It will give instruction to this light. This LED will glow and it will show that there is error. And the second thing, it will disable this booster section, voltage booster section, so that there is something wrong. There is overcurrent condition that it is not receiving full voltage. There is some overcurrent condition or there is some input voltage low that something is abnormal. The voltage at this DC line are less than the specified voltage which are here. So that means the system is working overloaded. It have to generate error. Error will be displayed on the LED and it have to give a warning tone on this buzzer. At that time in the instruction set, for example PA4 pin number 4 connected with this LED. So it have to give high to that LED so pin number 4 will go high. Then the next is instruction that the voltage are low it have to give beep. How much beep duration for 1 second, 2 second and what is the frequency? Will it continue? Will it with the cut sound? And then it have to disable for example TL494 in this condition it is connecting pin number 7 in with this one maybe in other inverter maybe the same type inverter pin 6 is connected to this IC maybe in other maybe pin 11 is connected so we can say every programmer will use its own technique and hardware engineer they will arrange how they are designing the circuit for example it will monitor the input DC voltage if it is designed for 12 volt in that case for 12 volt operation maybe it is using 11k 1k ground here are 12 volt it will take 1 volt at 10 volt it will take 0.8 so it will calculate in the same method it will check the voltage and it will translate the voltage into digital format these are analog voltage it will convert this voltage into digital format and that digital output will be compared with the memory which we stored in the ROM. It will take that data and it will compile that code in its processor, 8051 processor. And then it have interrupts. Interrupt is a hot line as we can say. That is the special control line. It have to stop everything or it have to leave other all commands and it it have to accept that action only that are the interrupt lines then it have timer pwm and io control it have digital peripherals that are that will compare the level and it will check the inputs and outputs of all the circuit input voltage are good voltage booster section is working good we have 290 plus volt here on this capacitor temperature is within range at that time it will give a initialization signal to this ka7500 so it will switch full bridge mosfets full bridge igbts to give output to chop these voltage this dc voltage into ac voltage then it will monitor the current 
if it is over current dc line is dropped dc rail voltage at dc rail dropped or input is fail or there is over temperature at any condition it have to monitor all these inputs and then it have to turn off this ka 7500 in these conditions so that the inverter must be safe because it is ensuring the safety here we have four line serial flashing line so we can flash it on the board then different inputs and outputs are configured here for example pin number 9 that is now controlling this ic ka7500 to give 50 hertz drive if any time over current over voltage it have to turn off this 50 hertz sync signal at that time if the voltage are beyond the limits it will give the corrective measures which are defined in the instruction set if you see pin out pin 1 is VSS that is ground pin 16 that is VDD and other all pins are controllable or definable we have to define them either it is input or output it have enable pin RST reset pin P1 that is programmable pin PWM pin then PWM0 so it have different types of inputs and outputs it is digital IO interrupt 2 timer 1 programmable pin interrupt 3 programmable interrupt 4 programmable reference V reference interrupt 5 P1 each pin here have different functions so each pin can be utilized as per requirement of the software engineer and hardware engineer what they need function and which time they need which function analog input 6 analog input 5 analog input analog input it have digital inputs analog inputs programmable, programmable inputs outputs interrupt 0 interrupt so these ports can be programmed as per requirement these two pins will remain static pin number 1 and 16 other all pins can be configured can be changed as per requirement so that is the reason if this IC is working in inverter it will work in one inverter maybe pin 15 that is output in the other inverter maybe input so we cannot say this is the standard signal for this IC because it is working on the different parameters at input it compiles these inputs and processes in the processor and processor will instruction at any pin which is configured to drive output friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh